And welcome back to the second half hour of The Factor Uncensored. There are two things people expect out of the streaming service Tubi. Number one, a lot of fresh new content. And number two, on occasion, a laugh at some outrageous scenes from some of the movies. What really had people laughing is a scene out of the new movie, No Disrespect. It's when actor Kenny Wilder gets into a gun battle with a female and he pulls out a page of the Angelina Jolie's book of gunslinging and curving and makes his, his bullet curve. That one scene went viral and was seen by three million people. We asked Wilder, the actor, what was the public's reaction to that? I got people uh, uh, claiming that they're my cousins and everything. So <laughs> it's like, hey, you know, hey, cuz, hey, as long as you spread word, we, we good. So, And, of course, we're talking about the scene where uh, with the bullet uh, that's right. similar to the movie Wanted. And you delivered that role right there. You delivered that scene to us. Your thoughts when you were shooting that scene? Um, shout out to Miles Triplett, the director, writer of that film, uh, SVS Productions. Um, basically, I've never seen one before. That's the thing. Okay. So he was like, yeah, he was like, man, I need you to curve the bullet. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? He said, just, just do your arm. Just do your arm like you're, you're, you're curving something. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so, uh, get behind a tree and it went over a couple takes. He said, just act like you're concentrating and just just deliver it and you know now we're here <laughs> I, th I think you did it better than angelina jolie <laughs> and i appreciate that brother I, I, appreciate that. <laughs> I love that you can follow kenny ken wilder on all social media and platforms in the meantime if you're laughing at some of the productions on tubi some in the entertainment industry are laughing all the way to the damn bank that's because the platform has opened the door for so many hoping to get into the movie-making business. Joining us now to talk about it, Ray Khan, who is a producer, Adrian Cole, CEO of the Relentless Media Group, and actor and producer, Rome. Glad to have you all here on The Factor Uncensored. So, Rome, let's start with you. How has Tubi changed your life? Well, in my situation with me being an artist and an actor, it's an opportunity for me to get my music and my talent out at the same time. So that's how Tubi is helping me on the platform. And are you ever surprised at the public response and how many people have seen you? Actually, yeah, I'm having situations every time I step out these days. So. <laughs> yeah. Where's security? Where's security? Yeah, exactly. Security is just staying at home, staying out the way, for sure. And, and does this help a lot of people in the industry, both music and also uh, acting and movies? I believe so. You know, if you cater your song to the film, then you're in there all the way. So basically collabing at all levels is just an opportunity to win big, especially for two being directors, writers, all the artists coming up. And Adrian Cole, how has Tubi changed your life, giving you a platform? Well, we got I've got three movies that are on there with my thinker that I've had my name on, but I've probably invested in about seven of them. Really? And it's been a great thing because it's something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And to be able to bring the industry, the film industry to Houston, uh, kind of following in some of the things that Ray has done, and, and Shannon and, you know, Jannard, several guys, there, there's a lot of talent here. And so to be able to see these guys work and be on the set with them and see the professionalism that takes place, um, I think Tubi is an entryway into the uh, movie industry. Mm -hmm. And just like Amazon and Netflix and everybody else, I think they're going to change their specs where you're going to have to step up uh, your game plan. So, you know, that's what we plan on doing. Uh, we've, we're slated to do 10 films right now from October to October of next year. Wow. So we're going to be looking for new actors, new actresses, writers, directors. I think we've kind of pigeonhole ourselves with just what we have. Mm -hmm. So we want to open it up to the city and bring some other people in as well. And Ray, your thoughts on Tubi being viable and, and putting so many people yeah. to work. And you said it's the way Netflix started. It's the yeah. way Amazon Prime started. We don't tend to remember mm -hmm. that because the, the type of programs we see on there now are like multi-million dollar multi programs. But we don't remember that, but there was a time. Yeah. So uh, just like uh, when Netflix first started, they allowed a lot of independent projects to come through. But you don't see that 
uh, often now. Mm -hmm. You barely see any independent projects making it to Netflix. And of course, you, you're saying as someone who produces mm. a lot of movies, finance mm. a lot of movies, things are changing though when it comes to revenue. Absolutely. People were initially making a lot, a lot of money. Absolutely. But now things are changing. Tell us about that and why. Well, um, initially, uh, Initially, Tubi was making a lot of revenue because a lot of people were watching independent films. It was it was like a place to showcase all the independent projects. And uh, what started happening is the people that initially started making all the revenue, they slated three, four, five, six, seven projects. Mm -hmm. And as as uh, time went on, uh, submissions gone up by three hundred plus percent. But the viewership absolutely, the viewership stayed about the same. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it, it has improved, you know, because Fox did a fantastic job, you know. And for those who don't know, Tubi is owned by Fox, our parent company mm -hmm. here. So for, uh, for those who are interested in still making movies on Tubi, is it still viable? Is it still Absolutely. something they should do? You know, Tubi is just like any other platform. It's, if you have a good, good story, good concept, good script, you'll definitely, you know, it's a good place to put your, put your film. And in Rome, have you noticed a difference in revenue because of the oversaturation, or it's or you got here at the time? You know what the specs are when you got there. Yeah, I think it's all about timing for sure. Um, in my case, being able to get booked or being able to know that I will have something coming out on Tubi is a good thing for my pockets for sure. And Adrian, your thoughts on that? Uh, has it affected your pockets oversaturation? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to definitely say yes, but I think what we have to do as filmmakers, as rather we, uh, from the executive production side, the entry uh, in Tubi was very low. You had people that were making their films for you know eight, nine thousand dollars, and we're going to have to put a little bit more quality into the films, bring about a better cast, uh, just overall bring in a little bit more professionalism. And I think once we do that, you'll see the change in Tubi, and they're going to be just like everybody else. So I think everybody was easily, it was very easy because you had some people shooting off of their phone and you could upload it, they were accepted. And they're kind of going more to their own Tubi originals if, you, if you're taking a mm -hmm. look at it. I think they started off with a few and how many they got on there now, Ray? Well, over 130. Yeah, so, yeah so now you got a lot of Tubi originals. But I think it's also a good thing that, you know, we can also shoot and sell it to Tubi as Tubi originals. So. I think that's a good thing as well. All right, gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on The Factor tonight.